What up, boogers and boogettes? This is uh, good old Masterverse Matthew, or aka T-Biz. <laughs> Anyways, we got a, a Princess of Power Frosta to check out. This is a uh, Frosta. Anyways, I like P.O.P. I like Princess of Power. I like She-Ra. Um, when I was a kid, you could probably get beat up or chastised or made fun of or shunned uh, socially. I'd be like the pride of the middle school for liking this or junior high for uh, for liking She-Ra. Or for bringing She-Ra dolls or figures to the school. Yeah, it, it wasn't cool to be a brony back then. It wasn't cool to be in the Care Bears. Even though some of us were like, oh, I gotta have one Care Bear figurine. But anyways, it just, it wasn't cool, man. It's cool now. You can do whatever you want now. I mean, that's the whole thing. But uh, but back then, nah, dude, that wasn't cool. So now as a grown-ass man, you can go get you a Frosta, a Princess of Power. And it's okay. Yeah, your wife or your girlfriend might roll her eyes. Or she might actually think it's pretty cool, but, um, or whatever, or, or I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but other than that, we got her. We got to check her out, man. And so far, she looks pretty cute. Um, Ice Empress of Etheria Frosta. And there she is in the back. That back package art is rad. See, this is why I don't like to watch reviews before I do mine, because then the surprise is totally ruined. I told this to my buddy Evil Villain, that this is one reason I don't do that, because, one, I've got to, I'll always be a kid. Number two, I like to be surprised, just like when I was a kid. When you come home from school, we've got a surprise. Oh, surprise. Cool, I wasn't expecting this. A surprise. And I wouldn't expect this, so it's a surprise. Number three, it just it is what it is. I have rules. Anyways, Frosta, Ice Empress of Etheria, from within her stronghold of Castle Chill. That sounds like a pretty cool place, Castle Chill. Anyways, uh, Frosta rules as Queen Mackenzie. What? Queen Mackenzie, like Spuds, of, of the Kingdom of Snows, high in Etheria's northern mountains. Kingdom of the Snows, what? <laughs> Through, perce though preceded by her reputation as Etheria's Ice Empress, Frosta is a kind, loyal, benevolent ruler. I've heard that before. <clears throat> Anyways, um, my current administration. Anyways, uh, let's see. Strong both of will and power. She brought peace to her kingdom and became one of She-Ra's most power. So they've given her a little bit more of a backstory. She's just not some lackey or bootlick of... Uh, well, that's kind of... I'm going to go there. Anyways, of She-Ra or something. That's kind of hot. Of She-Ra or anything like that, but... She's got her own. Yeah, she's 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 up there, man. She got she got some status, some clout, man. So that's pretty cool. And once again in this wave, you got Evil Lynn, Frosta, Roboto, and Stratos. Hopefully Oh, and some more side art, man. That's cool. She looks nice. I like her. She's pretty. She's a pretty girl. And let's see, um and then she has like a a frosty thing of He Man. So I'm He Man. I'm a Frost. Frostbust of He-Man. That's pretty cool. She's like, oh, He-Man, Frostbust. I love you. But anyways, um, yeah, let's go ahead and open her up. Alrighty, her folks. Out. This girl is ready to chill, and she's ready to give you the cold shoulder. No pun intended. No pun intended. Um, She's cool. She's pretty basic. There, there's not a lot to her uh, as far as her boots go and all that stuff. Like, um, It's all pretty much like a onesie boot look-alike look thing or whatever. I don't know. Um. So that's all one piece. Unless she's got like the ultimate hooker boots and they just go from like there to there, which is, that's pretty gnarly. That's pretty hardcore. Um, then let's look at her, let's look at her face. Let's fix that lighting a little bit. There we go. Anyways, I'm not professional. But yeah, she's, uh, she's not bad. She's just kind of got this look about her. I don't know. I don't know what to say, but it's not bad. Her hair is pretty cool. It's translucent. So that's pretty freaking gnarly. That is pretty freaking cool. So I think if you got it like above the light, like it'd be kind of hard to tell. You'd have to have her against a black, like a really hardcore black background to get the translucent effect to pop in the light. But you can see right there, that's pretty cool. And she does have a soft goods cape. So it's like a superpowers cape. So that's pretty rad. I dig that on a plastic ring. So that's cool. I'm totally down for that because I get tired of uh, big, bulky rubber capes that kind of suck. Um, she's got all the standard articulation, pinless elbows, double elbows, all the biceps, all that. She's got the side hinge on the hand, the swivel and all that. Her gloves have a nice kind of like um, 
nice pearlized or like mother of pearl or like kind of glittery effect to them. It's kind of hard to tell in this light though. She's got her little frost jewel. She's got a waist twist with her skirt above it. A little bit of the diaphragm thingy. But yeah, so that's cool. She does pretty damn good splitsies once again, so woohoo. Anyways, and um, let's see. I'll drop down too much. Then upper thigh, double knees, calf cut, and your rocker pivot and all that. So yeah, she's not bad, man. She's not bad. She's got some cool accessories too. We gotta check those out. Let's see. She's got an ice blast. So that's pretty cool. You can just throw that in her hands. So uh, that's pretty rad, man. We didn't get that with the classics version. I used to have the classics version. We're gonna play that old song again. So she has a hand, like another casting hand or whatever. She's got two, so that's cool. And then she has her little frost wand little pinwheel thing so that's pretty neat so that could actually she could use that to summon some kind of arctic wind blast that the people in new york just got or whatever so that's pretty freaking cool and uh yeah i guess the next thing we could do is get her posed up but i look at her face it's not bad it's not perfect but it's not bad i don't know it's not horrible i don't know i don't know how i feel i don't know she, I don't think she'd be like a figure of the year, though, or anything like that. Because we're still not done with the year yet, but we got to figure all that out. But she is cool, and we're going to get her posed up and check her out. Here That's we have her posed up, summoning the icy winds of the north of Etheria. Northern Etheria. Anyways, uh, yeah, she looks pretty rad, man. I like her, man. She's cool, man. She poses pretty well. Of course, her hair is going to hinder some of the, you know, turning her head and all that stuff. But she looks pretty rad, man. I dig her, man. To get Very that cool. hand kinked up a little better there. And that looks cool, man. She's about to cast some kind of icy spell, man. Or do some crazy uh, snow or blizzard blast or whatever, man. That's really cool. She's awesome, man. I, I dig her more. I think the more you play with her and the more you pose her around, the, the cooler she is. Plus, I like her little stab. It's, it's fun. You force her head enough, you can get her to hold that side pose with her head and stuff and uh or turn her chest to the side and her head to the side or whatever and uh and have the ice blast thing and it looks pretty freaking cool looks pretty amazing she's rad dude i like her now i really dig her now dude i really dig her now you got to kind of mess with her man she does look a little bit basic in the face but other than that she's pretty rad man really good figure i would say two thumbs and up and here she is uh, side by side with her i don't want to take her out of this pose because she just looks too cool anyways um with her homegirl shira and, dude, for a long time, she I was like, oh, She-Ra, God, I love her. she was the shit. I love She-Ra so much. She's rad. She's rad. And, dude, uh, she's, like, kind of, like, I'm, like, kind of, like, She-Ra, not today, Frosta. Let's go hang out. Let's go chill, so to speak. Because, uh, yeah, she was kind of just like, huh, what? <laughs> you know? And uh, She-Ra is dope, though. It's a dope figure. Uh, especially with her mask with the, the weird white blind eyes or whatever the hell you want to call them it looks really cool but just with that face she's got she just kind of got this woo -hoo on the front of that face man and then frosta she's kind of got a whatever face too but posed up she looks pretty sick man i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie damn she you're getting knocked down a peg that's that's pretty hardcore anyways thanks for watching y'all let me know what you think about this figure i think she's super rad at first i was kind of like eh, she's all right she's kind of like I'm always gonna say a little basic, but dude, she's she's pretty rad, dude. I'm digging her. I'm digging the more I've messed with her, the and you get her posed up, she's pretty rad. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll have a good one. Hey right. folks, if her hair does change color, it's very faint because I did have it in warm water and it is a little lighter, but we'll dip it in the cold again. And yeah, it does. Ah, oh, you can actually tell from the two tones. It does. It just gets darker. That's all. Just gets a bit darker, and it goes all the way. Oh, it goes all the way up to the top of her head. So it does turn, because you can see that spot right there. See that? Uh-huh, see it? And then, yeah, it's like totally dark blue. So, yeah, let's breathe on it. So maybe it does go back a little bit or not. But if you run it in warm water, it will get lighter. Maybe. I don't know. And then just dip it in again. 
and it gets a little darker. I don't know. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> oh well. Well, you know, you, you you get the idea, folks. Oh man, I gotta get her head out. 